welcome to Relax Media. This is your Tito Pabs, and we are once again playing Euro Truck Simulator DOS. Okay, so this is a uh, long overdue na series. So I'm calling it Trucker Stories. Kung saan uh, tayo ay maninilbihan bilang isang driver sa iba't ibang companies until we are able to purchase our own trucking equipment of course obviously yan yung truck ano and uh, uh, we will eventually be able to build our trucking empire okay so let's enjoy this uh, I think this is the second episode ang tagal ko kasing hindi na agawa ng follow up video regarding this and uh, I, I guess it's uh, something that we can all enjoy yung profile na walang uh, walang cheats for the uh, amount of XP and money that we are receiving for each successful delivery. So this time eh, ano tayo? Um, mano, mano, mano. Yeah. So we are we're slowly walking towards our truck. Uh, well, not really our truck. Ano? Truck ng company na nag-hire sa atin. Kumuha sa atin to drive this. Yeah, it's the uh, DAF 105-510. Yeah. By now, you already know na ang ibig sabihin niyan is 510 horsepower ang makina. So, not uh, not too small. So, uh, we have a, a rather powerful, decently powerful engine under this cab. Okay, so pasok tayo sa ating truck. And here it is in all its glory. Na uh, I think this is ano eh, yung uh, kumbaga luxury luxury pack or luxury interior. Ayan. Yung packing wood uh, dashboard and we also have two two sleeping bunks. Tawag nila diyan sleeping bunks. And up up and down. Okay. Okay, so Let's start her up. Ay, baba tayo ng bintana. There. Did you be able to appreciate how... So, by by uh, rolling down the windows, we'll be able to appreciate yung sound. Hindi ko alam kung nagkaroon ng updates sa... Nagkaroon ng updates sa... Or para sa truck sounds ano but uh, to my ears o oh, siguro dala lang to ng ang tagal ko hindi naglaro ng ETS ulit uh, dala lang to na na ang tawag doon na hindi ko nga nalaro yung game for some time o so, feeling ko parang nag improve yung uh, yung yung sound engine sound Okay, so we are currently in Florence and we are tasked to uh, to drive all the way up to Genoa. Dito. Ayan. And yeah, let's start. Let's start the journey. Okay, so for this time I'm using manual transmission. Tingnan natin kung kaya natin itakbo to ng ano. High range. As it turns out, yes we can. Oh yes we can. <laughs> okay. So just to give us a uh, panoramic view of the yard, <laughs> the uh, truck yard, and of course uh, for us to to have a good look dun sa truck natin it looks good no um oops teka lang um wait lang cam 1 um ano ba nalimutan ko na gamitin yung button box <laughs> so we have our beacons and the parking lights on So we are clear from this side. Okay. 
Yan, palabas pa lang tayo ng ano ha. Palabas pa lang tayo ng yung uh, truck yard kung saan natin kinuha yung ating cargo. Ayan, gusto ko pa lang pasalamatan lahat ng mga recent subscribers natin. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing to our to our YouTube channel. At kung sakali man bagong dating ka rin dito, I'm inviting you to also subscribe. That's if of course, if you want to see more videos from Tito Pabs. And uh, Just to also inform everyone. So hindi lang po gameplay video si makikita rito sa channel na to, no? You're, you'll you'll also expect for uh, me to come up with tech related videos reg uh, especially regarding microphones or audio, anything audio. Anything um audio for for streaming or content creation. Dahil isa po yan sa mga hilig. Parang acquired taste na rin siguro, no? Kasi before, um, talagang purely microphones lang ang ano. Ang, ano ba tawag doon? Purely microphones lang ang talagang gustong gusto ko na when it comes to audio, no? Fascinated with or by how microphones work. And uh, yun nga, it's a very powerful tool. It's a very powerful tool. Yan. Maraming, uh, maraming ano, maraming, maraming rally at maraming movement na naging successful because of the microphone. Oh, di ba? If you come to think of it, yung mga most powerful, most iconic speeches na i-deliver ng iba't ibang mga uh, public speakers, mga orators, it was all done with the help of the humble microphone so yun and uh, simula nung nag uh, simula nung nag, uh, nag 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 stream ako and uh, also ka, 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 kasama nun kasama nun is content creation for YouTube uh, naging naging passionate ako when it comes to recorded audio or uh, audio input so from the mic from the uh From the mic to the yung tawag dyan, audio interface. Ayan. Actually, as of this time, uh, nagsisimula na akong mag-collect ng microphones. Sa audio interface, uh, siguro that is something na magkakaroon din tayo ng collection in the future. Pero syempre, unahin natin yung microphones. Although there's uh, there's a new interface na parating siguro by by August na yung ini-expect ko by August na dating noon dahil hinihintay ko pa siyang ma may process to be shipped dito sa Philippines. So uh, very soon, very soon yan magkakaroon tayo ng bagong mga audio toys dito sa ating channel. So, I am teaching myself to drive in manual once again. Medyo nakakapanibagong mag-drive ng manual dito sa game. Um, especially with the uh, uh, with the splitter and the uh, range selector. If you are an ETS2 or if you're a trucking enthusiast, you know exactly what uh, what the uh, splitter and the uh, range selector are for sa mga hindi po nakakalam in a nutshell basically um, basically yung dosing cambio or dosing gears 12 gears ng ng truck ano is uh, parang pagkakasyahin mo siya sa tatlong gate diba tatlong gate so yung yung gate is yan yung primera, segunda, tercera. So tatlo no. So you will split 
like that. So divide mo nang uh, multiply mo nang 2 dahil nag split ka. You will have 6. And then the range, you would have high and low. Again, yung 6 na na-split mong gears, magkakaroon ng high and low. Eh di times 2 ulit yun, nagiging 12. Mahirap, mahirap intindihin pag hindi actual. <laughs> I-google nyo na lang. Hmm. Actually, mali ako. Uh, there are six main gears usually sa, sa 12-speed na gearbox. Ayan. Um, six uh, gears 1 to 6. Ayan. Meron siyang high and low range kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng 12, ng 12 gears. Although it's it's really fun to to be driving in manual using the uh, splitter the range and splitter mo, uh, mod uh, I have the Almar SKRS shifter now if you already own a G29 or any pair of uh, or any pair no um, or any force feedback wheel uh, for you uh, if you are if you're using any force feedback wheel already and the uh, you are almost exclusively driving an ETS2 or ATS. I would highly suggest for you to upgrade. I mean, the the uh, uh, I would highly suggest that the ne next upgrade for your driving rig would be the uh, SKRS shifter from from Almar. Well, meron pang ibang ano eh, meron pang ibang companies na gumagawa ng SKRS. Uh, shifter mod um, if if you'd be able to find some I mean if you'd be able to find one at a uh, decent price eh kunin mo na kaagad got mine from eBay um, kung 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 i isasama mo lahat-lahat I mean if if uh, it will be regular shipping aabutin ka magre-range siya from 9 to 11,000 sa ano sa including shipping ano pero if you have if you have a friend or a family member from the United States or UK uh, or Europe kamo na lang pwede mo silang ano pwedeng sila ang well, I doubt kung makakauwi sila this time ano dahil syempre nga dahil sa situation current situation pa rin natin it's really hard it would be really hard for uh, our friends and families from other countries to to uh, to go home dahil sa current sa current challenge ng ano ng pandemic uh, but uh, that is one option kung makakahintay kayo no then uh, pabili na lang kayo sa kanila kasi medyo ma medyo mahal talaga ang shipping ng items eh uh, ng overseas unless of course pwede, gusto niyo ano gusto niyo maghintay ng ilang buwan uh, pwede niyo silang ipa sea cargo shipping card and uh, my shopping box are good options for for items bought from Europe and the United States Pero pag yun nga, pag air cargo, uh, medyo, ano, medyo mahal. Obviously, di ba? Yan. Oops. 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 <laughs> Okay, um the recent update nung ano nung nitong ETS2 and ATS um has given us better SSAO screen. Basta nalimutan <laughs> nalimutan ko yung ano, nalimutan ko yung ibig sabihin sa SSAO. Um 
it gave us better lighting sabi ko nga eh, the uh, shadows and the uh, things that are uh, that should be darker are much darker ngayon and the uh, things that should be brighter are uh, are really bright this time around so mas nagiging dynamic yung ano yung picture na nakikita natin sa game uh, which is which is absolutely which is absolutely welcome Oh, di ba? So, andun na tayo eh. Uh... Oh. Walang ano? Walang engine brake? Ba't walang engine brake? So, andun na tayo. Ano? Hindi, hindi pang next gen yung graphics ng ano ng uh, ETS2 and uh, not by a long shot uh, but I'm glad that the uh, developers are trying the best they can to at least or somehow keep the game uh, at least updated ano kahit pa paano hindi man siya makasabay sa mga mga mas ano mas bagong mas bagong games that uh, that has uh, mind blowing graphics at least ito eh ano gumagawa sila ng paraan to to make the game a little bit more beautiful than it was a few years ago. Uh, that is not to say that the uh, game is ugly no, or not pleasing ano. Kasi maganda naman tong ano eh maganda graphics ng ETS2. Uh, kaso nga lang it is not as realistic as um, other titles like ano ba tawag dito uh, SnowRunner diba SnowRunner looks absolutely awesome etong etong ETS2 is awesome lang <laughs> uh, but there are a lot of mods that improves the the overall feel and look of the game so uh, we owe a lot from our modders kasi lang problema ako kasi sa mga mods mga graphics gra- graphics overhaul na mods eh nagii-introduce siya ng ano eh ng unnecessary lag uh, sometimes this is regardless kung malakas o kung ano man yung PC mo no um, kasi syempre hindi siya kumbaga hindi designed yung uh, game engine to uh, to be modded like so kaya nga laging merong ano eh kaya nga merong uh, disclaimer when, once you have a mod installed sa sa game mo dun sa landing page ng ng ETS2 or ATS you will be prompted about ano uh, may may warning regarding mods na parang hindi hindi liable yung ano yung developer if in any case there's uh, like uh, uh, there will be damage or what not or crash uh, mga magka-crash na gameplay ko sakaling merong mods na installed sa sa game And it is absolutely true. Talagang may ano, um, talagang merong mga instances na nagkokos ng crash ang uh, mga mods. <laughs> And uh, you have to to uh, uh, you have to manually check kung anong mods exactly yung mga nagkokos yan para matanggal mo in order for you to uh, to to uh, in order for you not to I should say not to experience yung mga yung mga game crashes na yan right or wheel camera wheel ba tayo dito tire camera side camera okay and we are We have arrived. Ayan. Um, so, may lag ako na experience. This perhaps is brought about by uh, traffic mods and medyo nakataas yung traffic ano ko eh. Traffic, anong tawag dyan? Traffic level.
Patama ba ako? I guess not. Okay. We're clear, we're clear. Ay, that reminds me. Ito nga pala yung ano. Um, for some odd reasons, pagka naka, naka, ano, naka traffic mods and uh, uh, nakataas yung traffic level dito sa Italian, Italian map DLC, uh, sobrang daming drop frames. I don't know why. Pero, yeah. Especially pag naka ano, pag naka antal dito first person view. Nalimot ako mag-cambio rin. I'm distracted by the uh, frame drops. Ayan. Sinubukan ko na lahat eh. Sinubukan ko magbaba ng ano, ng, ng graphic settings dito which is something that I I should I should not be doing dahil nga ano um may 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 computer or yeah <laughs> my PC is uh, has more than enough resources to to run this game yan yung mga na, mga bagay na na-realize ko ayun kala ko nag-crash hindi this is just uh, because of the mods Um, sinubukan ko magtanggal na lahat ng mods ito, this, at this uh, very uh, area wala naman siyang ano eh wala naman siyang wala naman siyang issues when it comes to frame drops uh, kaso ayoko maglaro nang wala yung mga mods ko eh I love my mods <laughs> it is uh, one of those things that I cannot live without syempre lahat tayo may ganun ba diba? baga hindi naman talaga siya essential Um, you can you can you can play without those pero gusto mo talagang andun lang sila ganun <laughs> all right so we are here and we are about to end the video ayan ipark lang natin ng maayos to of course we will do the uh, reverse parking maneuver um i think Medyo mas madali yung pagpark dito dahil maluwag yung ano nila, yung uh, ano ba tawag dito? Maluwag yung yard. If I can see. If I can see you. La you ah. <laughs> Okay, playing ETS 2, parang ano lang to, parang uh, parang Dota lang. Kaya hindi ka naglaro ng ilang weeks, ilang araw, mga ngalawang ka. Mga ngalawang ka dito. Mga ngalawang ka dahil hindi ka na ulit marunong mag-atras. Diba, layo eh. Oh. Alright eh. Nalate masyado yung ano ko. Nalate ako masyado. But uh, we're almost done here. Konting-konti na lang. There you go. Alright eh. Okay. So parking brake. Siyempre. Exterior camera. For us to look at how beautiful the uh, DAF 105 looks. So, patayin ang beacons. Uh, beacons. <laughs> And the uh, park lights. And of course, the engine. Okay, we are done with the delivery. So, salamat po sa... Salamat sa panonood. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. Kung sakaling naburyong kayo rin sa kakapanood ng video na to, leave it a thumbs down. And if you want to see more of these type of videos, 
by subscribe to Paul with notifications on. And I will see you on the next one. This has been your Tito Pab saying, stay down, stay brown. Bye-bye.